The blinds of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone True Well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the most truth and sincerity. I'm the preacher Mon. This week's topic is going to be entitled What Does It Mean to Be in the Truth? You know, we often say that term, or we often hear that term in the truth. I'm in the truth, he's in the truth, he's not in the truth. Um Sometimes we might say, women can't get this truth or be in the truth. And, um, you know, I was meditating upon that. You know, I was praying to the Lord to give me some, uh, something to do a show on. And the Spirit came, came with that. And, you know, not as I was driving before I did this lesson, I thought about it. I meditated upon it. Like, what does it truly mean to be in the truth? And, um, first of all, what is the truth, right? Um, John 14 and 6 says, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So Yahweh Shai is the truth. How so? Because he's the word. This is uh, John 1 and 14. And the word was made flesh. Going back to the beginning, all right? But Yahweh Shai said what? I come in the volumes of the book. It is written of me. Okay. So. Yahweh Shai. Is the truth. The light. And the way. He's the truth. Yahweh Shai is. So what does it mean to be in Yahweh Shai? What does it mean to be in this truth? Let me finish the scripture now. And I'll say it. It says. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. The glory. Is of the only begotten of the Father. And when the scripture says the only begotten of the Father, meaning Yahweh Shai was the only spirit, spirit created by Yahweh. All right. And after that, um, he pretty much gave Yahweh Shai the blueprint. Yahweh Shai, along with the elect, created everything, man. All right. Because when you go into Genesis, the first chapter, when it says the word there in God, in English, uh, when you go to the Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash, the holy language, the pure language, it's Halahayim, which is a plural. All right. It was Yahweh Shah along with the elect uh, creating everything in the beginning. It says, full of grace and truth. Now, to sim simply put, to be in the truth is to contribute to the truth. If you're not contributing to the truth, then you are not in the truth. Because you do have people that at one point contributed to the truth. They stop contributing. And they're no longer in the truth. <clears throat> I was also thinking about an analogy because analogies, uh, they help. The Apostle Paul was constantly comparing um, scriptures to uh, athletics, you know, Olympics at the time, wrestling, running, boxing, um, gladiatorial uh, events. And you have a shot often use similitude. So these are prime examples of men to follow. So I was like, you know. Uh, the example I could give is like a football team, right? Let's say you're a Patriots fan. Or I'm going to use my example. I'm an Eagles fan, right? I'm a fan of the Eagles, all right? But do I contribute towards making them win a championship ring? Do I contribute to them winning the prize? I do not. I support. I, I, I might support, like, say, hey, go Eagles. Go, 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 you know, cheer for the team. But at the end of the day, I'm not contributing to making them get that Super Bowl ring now. If they win the Super Bowl, the fans don't get a ring. They'll get happy. But who gets the rings? The players, the coaches, uh, the staff gets recognition. People that contributed gets a part of that prize. And it's the same thing when it comes to this truth. So you have to contribute in some sort of way to be in the truth. So when guys say things like, yeah, man. I've been in the truth since this and that, but no, you've heard about the truth. You've been a fan, but have you truly contributed? Are you doing videos? Did you give us tights? Because that's a part of it, you know? And when we say contribute towards the truth, we mean contribute towards this gospel, all right? Because is, let's prime example, you got the mandates now. 
all right? It's telling your congregation, all right, to go with these mandates contributing to the truth? Absolutely not. So these Israelites out there that are telling their congregation to get the, um, you know, to download that Windows 19 on their computer, you know, to get that jab, they're not contributing to the truth, therefore they're not in the truth. They're contributing to their own filthy lucre and lust. You understand? You have to believe St. John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me has a scripture that saith, the same shall flow rivers of living water out of his belly. The belly represents your mind. You have, have you ever, you know, you heard that they had that term food for thought. Right? So if you're not teaching this thing according to Yahusha. You know, not just going into the look of the Lord, the teachings of the Heavenly Father. Then how can you call yourself contributing to it, man? And if you do not contribute to the truth, you're not in the truth. I'm going to keep saying it throughout the show because, look, man, I remember one time I was watching uh, the uh, elder brother, I'm one Gabar. Um, I believe he said, um, I don't really consider myself in the truth till uh, the past. So some, something to that effect. But it was a spirit because... Once brothers, you know, go to that first Passover, that's when you really start contributing because that's when you're, you know, you're doing the work now, like whether it be holding posts, something like, you know what I'm saying? You know? You do have brothers that contribute in other ways. Might be monetarily, might be uh, helping lifting brothers up, but in some way, shape or form, you're contributing with faith. And if you're doing that, then you're in the truth, man. So those of you out there that's just listening, putting something on the comment boards, that's not really contributed to anything, man. You're only deceiving yourself, and I'm going to get that scripture. 1 John 5 and 20. And we know that the Son of the Most High has come, and hath given us an understanding that we may know Him that is true. And we are in Him that is true. See that? We are in him that is true. We're contributing towards the truth, man. Con with tribute to give. We're making our bodies a living sacrifice. We're giving our life for Yahweh Shah, man. Some more than others, you know. Because there's different disp dispensations of faith. But at the end of the day, to contribute. Makes you in the truth, man. It says, We are in him that is true. Even in his son, Yahweh Shai. This is the true power and eternal life. Okay, so again, Yahweh Shai is that truth that we're contributing towards Yahweh Shai, contributing towards the word. Therefore, we're in the truth. Okay? And here's a, here's a, here's a catch 22. The moment you start contributing, for a prolonged period of time, all that stuff you did before, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant because it, it, it's in the book of Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, that Yahweh speaks about the, the man that was righteous and then goes astray. Actually, I'll get it. I'll get it. Not equal. In Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. Are we gonna go ahead and read it? All right. So this is um, Ezekiel thirty-three and thirteen. It says, "When I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live, if he trust to his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered." See that? All his righteousness shall not be remembered. Okay. Oh, well, let's go back. Let's go back to football now, right? Let's go back to football. Let's say a guy. Um, he was a talented uh, running back or talented, what what have you, right? For about ten years, and in the eleventh year, he went somewhere else. And the team that he was on for ten years wins the Super Bowl. Does he get a ring? 
No, he doesn't. Even though he contributed for 10 years, when it came time to get that prize, he wasn't a part of that team. He doesn't get the prize. You have to be with the you have to be with the team when it's time for the prize to get your reward. Because why? Because you contributed towards that prize. You contributed towards that championship. It's the same thing with this truth. When I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live, if he trusts to his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered. But for his iniquity that he hath committed, he shall die for it. See? So if you stop contributing during the time when Yahweh Shai come back, you pay the ultimate price because you were given an opportunity. As it is written, we have, you know, you're going to get hit with more stripes to the servant that understood his task and didn't commit it. All right. Again, I said it in the beginning. You're going to have some contribute more than others because the scriptures speak about the 11th hour. You're going to have brothers that's going to come in that last trump. All right. And still be part of that uh, hired. You know, the scriptures, you know, speak about that similitude about the hired servants and the servants that came in at the 11th hour. You know, and still got that same reward. See? So yeah, there's gonna you're gonna have people that contribute. The apostles, prime example, they've been contributing way before we were. Talking about the YouTube era of brothers, but according to the scriptures, we're all gonna get the same price if we contribute towards the end, which is what being a part of the governing body. Cause see, you got the elect, okay, but within the elect, you have the governing body, the twelve thousand out of each tribe the prophets and you can't tell me they're not going to be contributing that towards this word because it's set up in the spirit that they will okay it says when i shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live if he trusts to his own righteousness and commit iniquity and all his righteousness shall not be remembered but for his iniquity that he hath committed he shall die for it. Here it goes now. Again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. If he turn from his sin and do that which is lawful and right, if the wicked restore the pledge. Again, that wicked there is not talking about Esau. It's talking about Israelites. All right? Because only an Israelite can restore the pledge. Only an Israelite can be uh, given that mercy. As it is written, let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not know righteousness. It says, given again, give again that he had robbed, walk in the statutes of life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Now let's go back to the football analogy, right? You had a guy that was on the team for 10 years, all right? And it's in the 11th year, he went to another team, and that team that he was on for 10 years won the chip. He don't get no ring. Now peep this. A dude could join the, the, the winning Super Bowl team in the playoffs. Meaning he didn't play all 16 games or 17 games now. They sign him during the playoffs. And guess what? If that team gets to the Super Bowl, he gets a ring. Even though he didn't play all 17 prior games, he gets in the playoffs. If they go there and win the Super Bowl, he wins. Why? Because he contributed towards that prize. See? You're going to have guys that in that season that played the entire season. And that guy that joined, that got signed in the playoffs. Hell, if y'all if he if he was a if he contributed towards that ring, whatever period of time he was in, even though it was shorter, he all gets the same prize. So those are the in the truth that contributing towards the truth, man. You can't call yourself taking a break two, three months and bring it up the shit you did in the past and say you're in the truth, man. It's so like the things you did in the past and say you're in the truth. You're no longer contributing to the truth, man. You're no longer contributing to Yahweh Shah, the word. Breaking down the prophecies. Breaking down the scriptures the right way. Okay? Going out there on the highways and byways. Showing your face in front of people. 
giving in your tights and your arms, man. All right, because you got a lot of people that say this, they support the prophets and they support what you're doing, but they don't even send in tights. They just giving words, see? So they're not even in the truth. Oh, but I believe. But wait a minute. Here I hear your favor. Where's your works at, man? Where's your contribution? See, how wish I got that mindset of what have you done for me lately? See? Verse 16. None of his sins that he hath committed shall be mentioned unto him. He hath done that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. Yet the children of thy people say, The ways of the Lord is not equal. But as for them, their way is not equal. So see, because why? Because the Most High much rather have mercy upon an individual than to kill. You know, and it's also written in the book of Ezekiel. All right, how much the Most High delights more in the mercy. You know what I'm saying? Seeing somebody come back from their wicked ways than to just kill them. James 1 and 22. But be ye doers of the word. And that goes to those people out there. This, this scripture right here goes to them people that are lukewarm. Revelations 3 and 15. Those people that just write on the comment boards, good work. Oh, those guys that just re-upload videos. They don't do videos of their own. They just want to re-upload everybody's videos. Nah, man. You have to do, you have to work out your own salvation. And a part of that is you have to contribute. If you're calling yourself in the truth, man. If you truly want to get that prize, you want that ring, that crown, that incorruptible crown, Rather, got to contribute towards this work, man. But Peter says, um, give diligence to make your call in an election sure. That's contributing, man. James 1 and 22. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. And that's what you're doing, man. You know? If you're not contributing towards this word, but you're saying I'm in this truth, you, you just, you're deceiving yourself, Okay. Re uploading the brother's video and now putting up your own videos. Okay, the word is going out. You're a fan. But fans don't get the ring. That's just the best analogy I could give. For if any be hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man beholding not his natural face in a glass. Like in the mirror, that's what they mean. By the way, during the time of when this was written, glass mirrors were not a thing, okay? They would use like bronze or these, you know, metals that they could shine. That's how come it says, um, was that Ecclesiastes, it's the 12th chapter and the 10th verse. When you wipe the uh, looking glass and you find out that the rust is not all the way gone because, again, you could look up an ancient world mirror is made from precious metal like fine brass and stuff so they would have to constantly keep shining it so they could kind of make out an image of themselves the apostle paul said we see through a glass darkly again the same thing back then those were metals they had to shine and you couldn't get like a clear image of yourself you know it wasn't like the glass mirrors we have today where we could clearly see ourselves it was like you know they sort of could make themselves out you know of course you had different levels of metal you know bronze gold for the, the more wealthy. All right. Just a little side note. <clears throat> because it, it, it makes it makes you get a, a, a better understanding right here in the 24th verse. Because he says, For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straight away forget what he what manner of man he was. Right? Because remember, back then the mirrors weren't as super clear. So you could kind of make yourself out. All right. But going back to the point of the, of, of the scripture is... All right, so why do you look into a mirror, right? You look into a mirror, you look into a mirror to check your imperfections, you know? Well, you know, is my hair good? Is my teeth are right? Is, you know, you're looking for imperfections when you look in the mirror to, to, to fix them, right? All right? So that's a guy that he comes up, he's hearing the truth, and he's hearing his imperfections. He's hearing that what? That, hey, brother, you can't line your shit up. You can't have dreadlocks. You can't have long hair. You can't commit adultery. All right? You can't eat swine's flesh. There's Levitical law. So he's hearing all these imperfections. 
But the scripture says what? For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straight away forget what what man of man he was. So he goes away from the word, from hearing these imperfections, and he doesn't work on himself. He just hears it. But he's not taking no actions about these particular imperfections. See? So when you hear this thing, or look into the mirror, you're supposed to work on them imperfections, man. And time and time again, from our experiences out there, you've seen countless individuals come up, they listen, but they don't work on their imperfection. They just go about their way, still believe in what they believe in the world, man. So what? They deceive themselves. You're supposed to work on your imperfections, okay? Come in this work and start contributing, man. If not, then you're not truly in the truth. You know, you just, you know, you're really just speaking out your ass, deceiving yourself, man. Okay, and I had mentioned the types, and I just wanted to back this precept up because that's another thing too, man. The spirit just like put that out there, man. Like, look, man, we have to offer. You know, monetary gains, if you will, back to the apostles, man, because it's scriptural. First Corinthians nine eleven. If we have sown unto you spiritual things, now what's the spiritual things the apostles have sown unto us? Breakdowns of these scriptures, the prophecies. You know, getting our nationality, because prior to learning this thing from the apostles, the elders, or you might have learned it from one of the elders in your particular state. You might have heard them before you heard the apostle, but again, it goes back to the you know the apostles teaching us, bringing this thing out heavy on two thousand uh, two thousand seven, right? Well, let's say you might have learned from another camp, and then you came towards Great Millstone. At the end of the day, you're getting diff you're getting spiritual breakdowns from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, right? Words that could save your life, right? Because the scripture says, "What the things that I write unto you are, are spirit and life." I believe that's John 6 and 63. Let me get it. Because this word is the spiritual thing that we get, man. The understanding of these scriptures. Because that's what could save you. St. John 6, 63 says, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So this, this, this word is alive, man. Quickeneth means to make alive. Okay? Scripture says the flesh profit is nothing. So what's the things of the flesh? The nine to five, all that type of stuff. Profits are little, but it's not going to do, it doesn't profit in terms of salvation. So what's more important? The spiritual things, man. Spiritual things you take with you into your next life. As the scripture says in the book of Revelation, they were do follow them. And then when you go into the book of Timothy, the sixth chapter, it tells us that we can't take nothing else into the world. If we came in with nothing, we can't take anything. So we can't take any material things with us to the next life. But the spiritual things, that's with you forever. So this is, you know, it's more weighty. It says, we have sown unto you spiritual things. You understand the scriptures. Is it a great thing if we shall reap? Your carnal things? What's that? Your bread, man. And you know what's... Man, I forgot which elder said this, but it's so true. Niggas have no problem with paying Esau 30% of their checks. Esau will ask you for more. The more you make. The scripture says a tenth part. A type. A tenth. Ten percent. See? If... Others be partakers of his own, of this power over you, are not we rather? Nevertheless, we have not used this power, but suffer all things, lest we should hinder the gospel of Yahweh Shai. See? So it's, it's a lawful thing, but you do have people that don't give their tithes and offerings. 
get that in Micah. Let me get it in Micah real quick. Or Malachi, I mean. So I get. This is Malachi 3 and 8. Will a man rob the Most High? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. See? So, tithing is between you and the Heavenly Father. But you can't send a check to the Heavenly Father, some money up to the Heavenly Father in the spiritual world. Nah, man, you, you give it to the men. All right? So, again, that's a part of contributing, man. Also, not the ox. Read that. I close up. So in some way, shape, or form, if you're calling yourself in the truth, you have to contribute to the truth in some way, shape, or fashion. Primarily doing the work, man. That should be the that should be at the top of the list. Going out there in the highways, by byways, doing these doing these videos. Okay, and you don't have, look, man. Nobody should be on your case to do videos, man. Because at the end of the day, you're working out your own salvation, man. You should be on your own case. First Corinthians nine and nine. For it is written. For it is written in the law of Moses, Thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treadeth out the corn. Right? Because when they used to step on these, um, by the way, here's another side note, corn. There was no corn over there in the Middle East. All right? It, it, corn in the sense of what we think of, like, that corn on the cob. The word there for corn should be uh, uh, grain, right? Because you had different grains, whether it be wheat, whether it be barley. Right, and when these are uh, these are uh, uh, wheat and the barley, they'll be in the kernel. Uh, they'll be in the uh, the shells, right? And you'd have animals step on them, and as they step on them uh, to get them out of them particular shells, right? They'll eat some. Now, they, what the heathens would do, I guess, to save money or to get a greater profit, is they'll put a muzzle around them so they couldn't eat. So the Lord said, when y'all do that, that's off. You're supposed to let these animals eat a little bit while they're stomping out and, th and threshing the, the, the floor of these grains, you know? And then that law is likened onto the fact that when the apostles and the elders put together videos, that's what they're doing, you know what I'm saying? They're creating food for you, spiritual food, of course. So while they do that, right, as they're stomping out, the grains, look, man. You know, they do the work, you know, you got to travel, you got to do this. You know, you got to work throughout the day. It's okay for them to be financially compensated, man. Or the brothers or the elders and stuff, man. See? Does the Mosai take care for oxen? Or saith he, it is altogether for our sakes? For our sakes, no, no doubt, this is written. That he that ploweth should plow in hope and that he that treadeth 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 in hope should be partaker of his hope okay so that's a perfect balance right there man you know so I gave examples of ways you can contribute primarily thing is doing this work right you got monetary ways you can help so you women out there that be leaving things on the comment board, that's not contributing, man. It's not necessary. If you want to contribute, take care of your man. Whether he's in the truth or not, take care of your man. And give him your tights. And that's it. Have faith, of course, when you contribute. So with that, I'm going to give all per, uh, praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim. Racha Kodash, the blonde to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. Shalom, Nakim, and death to America.